Hi there, Tim Tetrick, Partner Technology Strategist with Microsoft. And one of the first services that we see a lot of partners and customers getting started with in Azure is Azure Backup. So just want to spend a few minutes giving you an introduction to Azure Backup. Talk a little bit about the value proposition, current capabilities it supports, and um, how you can price an Azure Backup solution uh, leveraging the Azure Pricing Calculator. So. Uh, before we jump into all that, just want to quickly talk about some of the backup challenges that we hear from customers today. So uh, from our customers today, we hear that you know traditional uh, backup solutions can be very uh, costly to manage. So those uh, you know disk and tape, storage media solutions, very costly to manage. Um, we also hear that those traditional backup solutions don't effectively scale uh, to address uh, you know the tremendous growth, uh, in data that we see. Data continues to grow and grow, um, and if I have to provision new storage media all the time to try to keep up with that, um, it can be very costly and uh, doesn't allow me to be as agile as I'd like to be as an organization. Um, for those uh, distributed uh, organizations that have branch offices, um, trying to maintain backup infrastructure for those can be especially expensive and difficult to maintain. Lots of overhead involved there. Um, and then uh, finally, uh, restoring data. So when we look at trying to restore data from traditional off-site you know, tape storage methods, um, it takes way too long and has way too much of an impact on the business uh, when you're trying to wait for that data to get restored. So let's talk a little bit about Azure Backup. Uh, two pieces to Azure Backup. Uh, there's tr the traditional uh, on-premises uh, data backup, and then there's also the ability to backup uh, Azure Virtual Machines. So first, let's look at the protecting your on-premises data. So with Azure Backup, you can backup your files and folders. You can back up clients and servers. Um, you can also protect those application workloads uh, that are running on-premises. Things like SharePoint, Exchange, SQL Server, um, even your Hyper-V and VMware VMs that are running on-premises uh, can be uh, backed up as part of Azure Backup. Um, Azure Backup also gives you a great disk-to-disk-to-cloud -to -disk -to -cloud, um, capability. So if you want to do your short-term uh, backups to disk and then do a long-term backup to cloud, you also have that option. Azure Backup uh, helping organizations really eliminate tape by leveraging the cloud to do those backups and really helping you to save money and then again helping you to reduce those recovery times. Being able to leverage you know, Azure Backup you know, can really give you that infinitely scalable backup solution. So uh, when you need new uh, storage, uh, again, not having to provision uh, traditional uh, storage methods, um, but I get with Azure Backup a instantly scalable backup solution and an infinitely scalable backup solution uh, that can accommodate uh, any size of data. Again, those backup, uh, uh, the backup for branch offices, um, the cloud really helping to re drive down those costs and, and helping reduce the overhead and the management and the hardware costs associated with that. Uh, and then finally, uh, you know, helping organizations uh, meet their regulatory compliance requirements. We know a lot of customers have those regulatory compliance requirements. Um, and with Azure Backup, allowing you to get long-term data retention of 99 plus years. Secondly, as I mentioned, ability with Azure Backup to uh, backup Azure virtual machines. So I can get those uh, application consistent backups of running Windows and Linux virtual machines in Azure without impacting my users at all. Allows me to quickly uh, recover from you know, application errors, human errors, even you know, malicious attacks, things like ransomware, great capabilities in Azure Backup to help protect against all of those. And again, finally, um, whether it's data on-premises, Azure VMs, helping me to, again, to meet that uh, regulatory compliance requirements that a lot of customers have and giving me that long-term data retention. Okay, so let's look a little bit about how you price an Azure Backup solution. So when you look to price an Azure Backup solution, there's really two components to it. There's a cost per protected instance based on the size of the instance, and you see the um, 
the different levels right here. And you may be asking, okay, so what's a prote protected instance? What does that mean? Well, a protected instance is really just a machine, um, either physical uh, or virtual, um, or it's an application workload. Again, as we talked about, SharePoint, SQL, those VMware or Hyper-V VMs. So again, either a physical or virtual machine or an application workload constitutes a protected instance. So cost per protected instance plus the cost of storage. Uh, the cost of storage can be either LRS, locally redundant storage, or GRS, geographically re redundant storage. And just to give you um, a feel for what that is. LRS, uh, locally redundant storage, uh, we keep three copies of your data for redundancy purposes in the local data center. Uh, with GRS, geographically redundant storage, we keep three copies of your data in the local data center and three copies of your data in a geographically dispersed data center several hundred miles away. So, but that's really it. It's that cost per protected instance, plus storage, and that's all you pay for. There's never any charges for restores. You can do as many restores as you want, no charges there, no charges for outbound bandwidth. So if you're familiar with VMs and some of the other services in Azure, you can get charged egress traffic or that, uh, that data that comes out of Azure. Not the case with Azure Backup, no charges for outbound bandwidth. And storage transactions, uh, there's no charge for those either. A lot of times, again, with some services, with types of storage that you'll do, you get charged storage transactions. Not the case here. Again, as simple as that cost per, per protected instance plus storage. So let's look at how we would price this in the Azure Pricing Calculator. So here we are in the Azure Pricing Calculator. Let's go in and price a simple solution using Azure Backup. So you'll find Azure Backup under Storage. Uh, and then you'll see backup right there. So I'll choose backup, I'll say view. So first of all, I can give a custom name to this. If I have multiple things I wanna backup, I can give custom names to keep track here. So maybe we say backup for file server. So maybe this is the backup I'm gonna do for my file server. I'm gonna choose the region in where I wanna keep the backup. So I can choose a region close to me. I can choose a region halfway across the country or even halfway across the world if I want. So in this case, I'll choose West US. I'll choose the number of instances and the size of that instance. So again, for my file server here, maybe we're looking at 400 gigabytes of uh, data to back up on my file server. So we're looking at $10 per protected instance per month at that size. And then it's just the storage. Again, locally redundant storage or geographically redundant storage. So we'll choose locally redundant storage here. We see a, a cost of $19.60 per month to protect that um, file server at 400 gigs of data. So let's go up and add another instance here. Let's say that again under storage, we choose backup, go down and view. Maybe this time we wanted to do a client backup. So we're gonna do a client backup. Let's add that to the estimate here. Again, we'll choose the region. I'll choose West US. In this case, maybe we just have one instance of 40 gigs of data. Again, locally redundant storage, we see $5.96 uh, $5 per month to, um, to back up that 40 gigs of data for that client backup. And then ultimately I can go down here and see a total cost of my total solution and then go out and export that uh, estimate into uh, an Excel spreadsheet. So we'll choose the export there. And then here's what that uh, estimate looks like. Um, basically, we'll see here um, the two instances of backup, the custom names that I gave them. We see an instance of 400 gig of LRS and another of 40 gig of LRS, and then line item that out into the estimated cost over a monthly and annual total. Give, again, gives you just a nice uh, capability to, for doing a simple quote or a simple estimate for one of your customers. So that's it for me. Again, just wanted to cover quickly the value proposition around um, Azure Backup, look at a few of the, uh, the capabilities, and then ultimately how to price solutions using the Azure Pricing Calculator. So that's it for me for now. Thanks for watching and have a great day.